ongoing here it's a 2d induced prioritization receivity survey also known as 2d 2d i pi receivity survey similar to erc electric electric receivity tomography this whole model is called 2d imaging and it gives images this actually images the sub surfaces for geomorphical anomalies this helps to gives us the location of minerals natural minerals that can be found under the ground like the location and also these minerals we're looking for are sulfites and the sulfites could be lead and zinc so here with me is mr gideon one for a exploration geologist and geophysicist so mr gideon can you actually explain what's happening here what's going on here the processes and all of it actually we are here for the physical survey okay um, known as a 2d ip survey also known as which is similar to here okay Demographic survey. Okay. Um, what we are doing here is we are actually injecting current to the ground and measuring the voltage. Okay. By that, uh, we'll be able to detect where there are some geophysical anomalies, okay. which will help us in uh, actually um, uh, understanding the subsurface okay. information and where there are possible uh, minerals okay. in this location. Okay. So, actually, what what this machine and what does it do? Uh, this Honestly. machine is uh, produced by. Uh, uh, geometric, you know, okay. GD10 is capable of doing a 1D, 2D, 3D, okay. IP resistivity, and SP survey. Okay. So, as you can see, if you look at this, it's called the mainframe. The mainframe has, you can see, the, it has the function okay. like the VA and MN. This is the transmitter, this is the receiver, this is the ID number. Okay. Why this is volt in millivolt, this is current in milliamp, this is apparent resistivity in ohm meter, this is SP in volts. Why this is the chargeability. Okay. And this and this is actually what they're interested in. Everything here, you know, um, um, uh, um, shows us actually what is happening in the subsurface. Okay. From the data we have here, we can process them. Okay. Yeah. So what is this? Uh, this is what we call the switcher. Switcher is uh, it's superhuman. Okay. It does the work of a human being. Okay. It's a modern technology. Okay. This actually does um, uh, the switching uh, um, operation from electro to electro. Okay. You know, and that is the ERT KD. This is what they call the GP5000. GP5000? Yes. Okay. That is rectifier. It's a uh, power source. Okay. That is the generator there. That generator is about 2000 watts. Okay. It gives power to this, and this converts the power to DC. This thing? Yes. It has ability of, um, uh, the GP5000 has ability of giving out 1200 volts. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you can see the voltage and the current. Uh, um, uh, regulator. So this actually passed the current down yes, the line? Does, yes, this is actually the mainframe injects the current okay. to the, the electric and the porous port receives. Okay. The, yeah, I receive it. So I after receive all it. of it, all of these processes, what's next? Uh, after the whole processes, we'll be able to, the data that are installed in the mainframe, okay. and actually you can transfer them to your system yes. within a geometric studio application. Okay. Uh, we can interpret, we can uh, process our data and interpret with other software okay. using the CD or, um, uh, or geometric applications or other geophysical uh, uh, software. Okay. Yeah. So actually that's all.